Hello, hello, welcome back. Insurance Hour, and I'm your host, Carl Sussman. We are talking about, just about to start, start talking about the bill that Adam Schiff proposed. And in a nutshell, I'll give it to you the 30 second pitch, and, and I'm by no means an expert in the bill. I read it when he first came out with it, and that was many months ago. It's a federal reinsurance program whereby carriers would contribute to a fund that would be held by the feds. Of course, they would never touch it because that never happens. But they would be held Just like funds. Social Security. I, I didn't want to say it. But yeah. <laughs> they would hold this money there, right? And natural disasters that fit a certain category would be able to have money drawn out by the carriers. So, for example, right now FEMA is a federal program that would go away. Earthquake insurance is a private sector oriented product, even though in California we have a quasi-state organization with the California Earthquake Authority. Mm -hmm. um, we have hurricanes, we have wind, we have wildfire. All of these things would go into this one disaster pool whereby insurance carriers would know that if a Paradise California horrific event happens again, they're capped at a certain amount of risk and then this pool could be accessed to fill in the rest of the gap. At first blush, what does that feel like for you when you hear that? Concerned. Concerned, but I'm open to any kind of solution-driven thought. And it's, as I just indicated, this is the first time I've ever heard of such a thing. And uh, You're a good sport for letting me throw it at you. I, I actually am entertained by it. Um, but I would have a couple concerns right away. But I think that partnership might be not a terrible thing, but we've seen the federal government also murk things up and, and become uh, part of the problem. <laughs> so we don't need any more problems, um, but if it really could be some kind of solution, I'm open to any kind of solution, any kind of partnership. Um, it would definitely probably need some kind of fine tuning, but I don't know enough about it to actually take a position on this thing. But uh, I'm, I'm open to any kind of partnership and any kind of uh, solution-driven thought because we're in a very, very tough spot right now. I think it's interesting as well because what that tells me when I first saw that bill introduced was it brought to, real, it brought to reality the fact that this is not a California-only problem. We're in California, the best state, no question about it. Everything is here. I mean, I'm born and raised here. I, I, mm -hmm. and there is no better place. And anyone that likes to bash California, as far as I'm concerned, they're just jealous. And that's okay. There's a lot to be jealous of. <laughs> but the issue of insurance availability is happening everywhere. Florida has problems. Texas has problems. Um, Louisiana has problems. New York has problems. We're seeing Colorado is opening up their first fair plan because they're having fire issues that the private industry cannot handle. So this is not a California-only problem. And when I see that we're starting to see attention given to it at a federal level, it gives me a little bit of hope that at some point, and never soon, because nothing ever happens quickly, certainly if something that would be this dramatic, but I hope that it helps the rest of the country realize, if this does get into public dialogue at some point, that it's not just those people in California you know, that are having problems with fire, and that's their problem. But there are different types of catastrophic events that happen all across the country. And that if it makes sense, if there's a way that we can, in essence, balance things out when there's a bad flood somewhere, well, the California carriers have paid into this fund. If there's a wildfire, well, the Texas insurance carriers have paid into this fund. Talk about fair, right? The issue of how does that play out? I have no idea. But I, I thought it was a fascinating concept because it's the first time, and I researched it, there's ever been discussion of a federal organized plan to be a stopgap for the insurance, for the private insurance industry. So it, it, it got me interested and scared at the same time. But I think, I think that those the are two very hel healthy emotions to have. But the conversation is what's important. Right. I, I agree. And I hope that, that it, will in, it will invoke discussion with people because they'll realize that, oh, wow, if this is happening at a federal level, maybe this isn't just those California people. Well, let me just tell you one of the fears that I have is automatically um, that particular author could be a lightning rod. Right. You either love him or you despise him, it seems like. And we're, 
our country's in a very dangerous position right now. I mean, we're polarizing, especially at a presidential time where you're either on our team or you're on the op opposing team. And I think we all need to be the American team and, and try to, I know this sounds Pollyannish, but it's, it's a truth, man. It's gotten so much worse over the last 10 years where we need to start unifying, right? We're supposed to be the United States of America and we're becoming the divided states and that's gonna to lead to more catastrophic outcomes. So I'm hoping that we can uh, try to depoliticize some of these things and talk to the issues and not to the messengers. Uh, because that's a distraction. It, it becomes a very, very powerful distraction. In fact, it's to the point of even friendships now. And I find that to be very dangerous, but uh, I don't want to get us off track too much. But I, I do think that that's an issue that I hope that uh, people will give ideas an opportunity, irrespective of the political dynamic. Let, let's talk to the issues and let's try to really, really stay away from the political alignment and getting political credit or, or political criticism, right? I feel the need to criticize just because of someone else's past positions. And I'm sure you feel the same pressure here. There might be times when someone on the other side of the fence has an idea that you're like, that's not such a horrible thing. And the second thought is probably, who's not going to like me feeling that way? And that must just be an awful mental tug of war that you have to go through. It's a needless frustration, but it's very powerful. It's very, very real. And so that's why I mention it because I believe in honesty. And I believe that the, the more honest we are with each other, the more likely we are to uh, understand each other. And I think that a lot of times I, I can disagree with people on issues and still respect them as long as they're honest, right? When they start playing games with me, then my respect for them goes down and my ability to trust them goes down. And that's kind of the state of our political atmosphere right now. And I, I find it to be something we can fix, um, but we need to take it and we just need to be honest with each other. It would be, it would be very nice if we could, it sounds funny to say, oh, back in the day, it would be nice if we could go back to the day where you had people on both sides of the aisle that would sit down and talk about something and go have lunch. I mean, this used to happen. It's, you know, the, the generation growing up now didn't, doesn't realize that people at the highest level of the federal government would sit down with the other part, with the other sure. side, and they'd go to lunch, they'd go to dinner, they would, they would have, they would go to common events, and they would be not agreeing in policy at all. But that was okay. That was what made the system work. We can fix it. We can fix it. But we have to make it a priority and we have to first be willing to talk about it, recognize it as a problem. Let's bring it back to California. Let's take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll be we'll finish everything up. We'll talk a little bit more about California's okay. insurance issues and where you think we're going from there. OK, thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And don't forget, click here to watch the next video.